Welcome to a new video of Triple Chris. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Chris and the Righteous Pass Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is the budget for your embassy. Now, after we have received in the last months and also in the last days so many great revelations about timing, where we are standing now, and we know that very shortly we will go into the 40 days of transformation and the appointing of the embassies and ambassadors here on earth. Now it's the time for you to forward your budget for your embassy to the throne of God, so that it can be approved in the court of heaven. If you do not ask for God's resources, He cannot provide. I have placed my budget last week before the throne of God, and this morning, I received the confirmation from the Lord that my embassy is approved. It was a fantastic dream. He showed me exactly how it will be. He showed me how I will work together with somebody, how we will do it for the kingdom and how the enemy will try to interfere. It is, was an amazing dream. Anyway. We are not talking about that today. We are talking about your budget for your embassy. So I will give you the example for my budget that I have placed before the throne of God, so that you have a reference for your own. My budget was in th three parts. The first one was asking for the transformation. New health, new strength, rejuvenation, that was Elijah received in the cave before he met God himself. Strengths, new strengths to fulfill our, our purpose and destiny here on earth. New health, body-wise, everything, a new strong body, kind of rejuvenation. Of course, we will remain the same age, but we will look much younger and we will much stronger. That I ask first, the transformation into the body of light. And then second, secondly, I ask for, for language skills. Because you know I'm operating by the, by the wishes of the Lord out of Cambodia. And so I ask for all the language skills surrounding the areas in all the neighboring countries for Thailand, for Laos, for Vietnam, for China, for uh, Cambodia itself, the Khmer language, so that I can spread and preach the gospel of the kingdom for all to understand. If he grants me more language skills, I'm happy. But at least these so that I can operate in the area where my embassy, embassy will stand. So we have now first the transformation in the body of light so that we will be able to walk in the image of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and second the language skills and then my third point were the actually resources for the kingdom of God. I put there how much I need for the embassy, how much will be the monthly cost, what I am planning to do and that in my case also included the Ark of the East. So I made a budget, I put it together, I made a bundle, and then I sent it to prayers and intercession to the throne of God. And I know as soon as it has reached there, it was taken to the court of heaven for approval. So when you send your budget now to the throne of God, there it will go to the court of heaven. Not everything that you might ask for will be granted to you. The court of heaven can can cut it down into the size that is required for your personal situation, for your personal embassy that you will bring forth in your area. So it can be completely different from my budget. Because I was also instructed to have the Ark of the East that requires more resources than just only a normal and simple embassy. But nonetheless, you have to bring forth your budget. But remember, when you put your budget there. These resources, God's resources, are for kingdom work only. They are not for you to become rich, nor to live a worldly 
life of uh, luxuries. These resources are only intended for your embassy to introduce to the world the principles of the kingdom, to do activities, to show forth about the kingdom, to show what the kingdom is like, to invite the people for the introduction to the kingdom, ambassadorial work, to to have the people to come in for the to apply for citizenship in the kingdom of heaven, to win souls. It is not for your luxury life. It is not for you to, to have a huge car or two cars or five houses or whatever. Nothing worldly. You will apply for your heavenly embassy and God can revoke the resources at any time. Be aware of that. You are appointed as ambassador of the kingdom of heaven through the court of heaven. You receive your letter of credentials and your resources to operate that embassy. But if you use the resources to make yourself a good life, <coughs> sorry, a good life, a worldly life, then the resources will be cut. And it will be much quicker than you think. So it is only for kingdom purposes and for kingdom work. Remember that when you put your budget together. So now, please, what you do today, put your bundle together. Ask for the budget for your embassy. Ask for God's resources. Tonight, when you have done everything, make a list, put them all down. Put it in writing. Angels are coming in the night in your room and are reading your what you have put down. Put it in writing. Put it on the table. By in the night, before you go to sleep, pray and intercede to the throne of God and lay your budget at the feet of the Father. Then it will be taken to the court of heaven. It might take a few days, like in my case it was one week. One week before I got the, the in information from the court of heaven that my embassy is approved. That does not mean that the resources will be there immediately. But I know I'm approved. And so no matter how God will make it, the resources will come and will be available. And my embassy will start and it will work and also the Ark of the East will come through. All is already approved. So now for you, take it there. And in the morning, you will have the feeling that you have brought it before the throne of God. You can then in the following day follow up with prayers over it to allow the Father to approve your budget. Make sure that your budget is tailored only to the needs of the Kingdom of God and only to the needs of the Embassy where you are placed by God himself. There is no need to put any fantasy inside. No need to say, oh, where I want to be in 10 years. It's for now. It's your start of your ministry, your harvesting ministry as harvesting brides. So put that budget together. Cut it short or cut it, make it that it will not be exceeding a certain frame. I want to say that you should should be on the minimum side. Maybe that's the best way to put it. Do not over exaggerate. Do not say, oh, I have an embassy and I need uh, $150,000 a month. That's, that's not possible. Nobody will operate on this scale. Especially not if you're not also one who has to build an ark of, of refuge for the Lord. So plan your budget properly. Put it in writing, put it on the table, in the night intercede, put it before the throne of God and then wait for the approval from the court of heaven. The time has come, you must apply now. If you do not apply for your ambassadorial position right now, you might be left out if the time comes. The time of transformation, what is next? Evil is rising now, we see it. We are now in this transition and waiting period until God will start the transformation period. And at the end of the transformation period, as you have seen yesterday in that uh, video about the 340 days, then fire will fall from heaven. And evil will get his, its blow. And the embassy will then start come forward. And then Jesus will walk with us for 40 days. So your budget needs to be placed before the throne of God today. Do it today. Don't forget to put it in writing and leave it overnight on your table. 
An angel might come and have a look at it or carry it even to the court of heaven. So that there your budget will be in writing. You will make a copy of it. You will put it in the records in the court of heaven. And then a judgment will fall. Your approval or the disapproval. Or maybe a cut in your budget plans. But if you do not apply for God's resources, you cannot receive them. Brothers and sisters, I hope you understood. Work on your budget today and take it to the, to the throne of God tonight. Be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.